red law and red constant. Red law is an expression that relates the rate of reaction to the red constant, K, and concentration of the reactants raised to some powers. So, red law also known as red equation. So, let's take a look at this general reaction. Okay, AA plus BB will form CC plus DT. So, when we write the red law, okay, red is equal to K times concentration A to the power of X times concentration of B to the power of Y. In which, concentration A itu adalah concentration of A, B adalah concentration of B, K is red constant, X is order of reaction with respect to A, Y is order of reaction with respect to B, and when we sum X with Y, it will give the overall reaction order. Okay, please take note that X and Y are not A and B. Okay, order dia tidak sama dengan stoichiometric coefficient. Yang mana value of X and Y can only obtain experimentally. Next, let's take a look at red constant. So, red constant is a constant proportionality between the reaction rate and the concentration of reactants. Okay, please take note that the unit of red constant depend on the order of reaction. And when the value of K is high, the reaction will proceed faster. Next, let's talk about the order of reaction. So, the order of reaction is the sum of powers to which all reactants concentration appearing in the red law are raised. So, order of reaction actually defined in terms of reactant concentration. Dalam erti kata lain, order of reaction ni dia lebih berminat kepada reactant. Dan seperti yang saya sudah nyatakan tadi, XY ni kita boleh tentukan secara eksperimen dan ianya tidak ada kaitan dengan stoichiometric coefficient. So, mari kita tengok example 1. Okey, itu adalah reaction equation antara F2 dan juga ClO2 menghasilkan FClO2. Dan kamu diberikan red law bagi tindak balas itu. Okey, so bila kita mau tentukan order of reaction with respect to F2, so kita tengok pada F2 di sana, okey, pada equation red law itu, F2 itu dia punya kuasa adalah 1. Dan ClO2 kuasanya pun adalah 1. Jadi overall order of reaction adalah 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2. Seperti yang saya katakan tadi, order of reaction ini dia tidak ada kaitan dengan stoichiometric coefficient. Walaupun dia sama. Okey sebagai contohnya F2 itu nilai order of reaction with respect to F2 dia sama dengan stoichiometric coefficient F2 pada reaction equation itu. Itu adalah suatu kebetulan sahaja So mari kita tengok exercise 1 Di sini ada 3 soalan Okay, you were asked to uh, Determine the order of reaction With respect to each reactor And the overall order of reaction From the given red law So you are given reaction equation And also the red law there So the order of reaction with respect to NO is 2 With respect to O2 is 1 And the overall order of reaction is 3 Next, for this question, we only have one reactant there, CH3CHO. So, the order of reaction with respect to CH3CHO adalah 3 per 2. And the overall order of reaction is 3 over 2 also. Next, for question C, okay, from the reaction equation, we can see that there are three types of reactant that are used. Okay. Tapi pada red law-nya cuma ada dua sahaja reactant. Okay. So, maksudnya satu reactant lagi, H plus itu, dia kuasa sifar. Please remember, apa-apa saja yang berkuasa sifar nilainya adalah satu. Okay. Jadi, order of reaction with respect to H2O2 is one, with respect to I minus is one, and with respect to H plus is zero. So, the overall order of reaction is equals to 2.
So that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye guys.